Hi, it's Mark from Surfrock Studios and welcome to our third tutorial guide on Space Designer. In this particular number three, we will be looking at Space Designer being used as a cabinet simulator. So let's get stuck in. If you haven't checked out video one and video two, video one where we use it as a reverb, video two as an EQ, please go and do so. Uh, we'll be covering little things in this video that I will have expected you to understood from those other videos. But let's get stuck into making Space Designer work as an IR loader for us to make speaker simulation. All right, so we're taking over from where video two took off and we've had our EQ megaphone setting here. Now, what I want to do is, um, open up a guitar track, okay? So I'm gonna try and use some of the Logic amps uh, that are in Amp Designer. And uh, let's just go and uh, get rid of that. Uh, create a guitar and bass, input one, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so there we go. It's loaded up Britain Clean, which is probably the default in most users Logic uh, setup. But I'm going to make it a little bit different because I want to use distortion tones and I absolutely loathe the distortion tones found in the Logic Amp Designer settings. I think they sound terrible, okay? Now I actually made a video on how you can improve that and I'm going to use a Rev G4 today to create my distortion tones. Um, but uh, if you want to check out that previous video, there'll be a card up here somewhere. Right, so we've got Guitar One and I have a patch, a user patch called Transparent Amp No Cab. So let's take a look at this. You can see that I am using purely a clean preamp, transparent preamp, everything is set fairly flat and uh, we have a direct cabinet setting. So there is no cabinet selected whatsoever. Let's just turn on the uh, uh, boutique retro uh, 2x12 just briefly because I'm going to play some guitar for you so we can hear a little bit about what we've got set up here all right so here is a clean tone now you would be able to tell the difference between the uh, direct and the uh, boutique a little bit more if we had some distortion involved, which is why I'm going to be using the Rev G4. So let's turn on the distortion. If I turn off the uh, speaker sim and we go direct, you'll hear how horrible it sounds. All right, so very, very simple kind of setting. High octane 4 by 12 probably sound a little bit better for this tone. All right, so we don't need to get into lots of playing. But there we go. We get our basic amp designer set up with a transparent preamp. We're running a pedal in front to create our distortion tones. And uh, we have a high octane 4 by 12 set up in Amp Designer. And in Amp Designer, you do get the functionality of moving around your mic, which becomes a little bit complicated when you stop using Amp Designer to do your cabinet simulator. So today's tutorial, we're looking at using Space Designer to do our uh, cabinet simulator. So of course, we're going to now turn off the um, this cabinet sim and turn it onto our direct setting. So once again, sounding terrible, Distortion with no sim. All right. Let's go and put a Space Designer plugin onto the uh, channel strip, and I'm going to go stereo for the time being. Right. So once again, we are now going to have our dry signal is going to be turned up 100%. So we're going to have our original horrible guitar sound going through and being blended in with a reverb. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so let's turn that dry down and now we just hear the reverb. All right, so let's turn it into a speaker simulator so our guitar tone starts to sound a little bit more pleasant. Now in part two, where we're looking at EQs, I showed you that Apple has a load of IRs and we're going to go and load some of those up. All right, so we're gonna go into load IR. I'm just gonna go load R rather than initialize. I cannot be bothered to go through and change the uh, 
filters we can use as we are in the default. So it comes up always uh, on my machine in rooms and probably yours the same. Uh, I'm going to go to Apple and we're going to go into warped and we're going to go into speakers. And you can see that when I sort the list out that into uh, let's go into ascending order. There we go. Um, we've got our speakers. Where have they gone? Love it when my mouse wheel doesn't work properly. Right, so we've got amp speaker one all the way through to 21. I have absolutely no idea which one is which and what the differences are. There is probably going to be uh, one by tens, two by tens and, and uh, 12 inch speakers right down to two inch speakers. You know, all the kind of things that I expect that uh, amp designer is going to be pulling in the background. All right. So I expect we're actually able to access some of these as they are. Um, I'm going to use some of them and I'm just going to choose a number randomly of go for 14. All right. So let's load up 14. So remember that without, uh, without space designer are Rev G4 going into a transparent amp sounds like this. And when I turn on now the space designer that has the cabinet uh, speaker 14 loaded. It's starting to sound a little bit better. All right, we can go through and we can play. Let's load up 15, see what that sounds like. Obviously a smaller speaker. Uh, let's go for 16, see what that sounds like. It's a little bit slow, isn't it, to start going through the list. I actually, out of the, the three that we've loaded so far, I quite like 14, it was cool. All right, so it's big and boomy. Now, if you want to change the EQ on that little bit, you can obviously use the output EQ as well, and we can go in and we can just notch up a little bit, uh, maybe even bring that one in, and I'll turn that one off. Uh, notch up. <laughs> So it's starting to sound a little bit brighter. You can dial in exactly what you want. Now, there we go. That is how we can use a, a Space Designer as a speaker simulator. But of course, in Amp Designer, you can do the same thing and you can move the mic around. Now, in effect, if you want to start having the movement of your room start to be brought in, you can vary the attack um, that you have over here. We can roll this down and we can just bring in a curve. Okay, so your initial level starts to disappear. And we start to bring in some of the characteristics of the, uh, the file with the room involved as well. So if we start to make that quite big, we now have quite a large, dropping my pick, quite a large reverb that's being added. <laughs> Okay, so once again, you can, it's almost like you're moving the microphone around, around the cab. And if you want to have like a metal tone where you want that microphone right up harsh against the speaker, then obviously you want that attack to be zero, but you can just pull it away a little bit depending on uh, your desires. All right, so a little bit there. <laughs> This is what it sounds like without the drive. Without the speaker sim at all. Very, very kind of uh, flat. Okay, so clean and G4. All right, so uh, a very, very simple way to load Apple's own IRs. But of course, you can also load other IRs out there as well, which is uh, a very, very cool thing. Like I said in previous videos, Space Designer is the only IR loader available as a stock plugin in Logic Pro X. So if you want to go out there into the big wide web world and you want to start searching for IRs of speaker uh, impulse responses, etc., that you want to be able to load in here, you can use the same principles as well. In fact, I went out the other day and I was able to find uh, a freebie from Celestian. Uh, I think the website was celestianplus.com um, and uh, I stuck it on my desktop. So let's go and load IR and initialize on my desktop. 
the Celestian. Where are we? Maybe it's impulse responses. There we go. Uh, and we got Celestian Vintage 30s. Now I'm running at 44.1, so I'm going to use a matching uh, sample rate. And I'm going to go for the bigger one, the 500 milliseconds. And we've got this Cherno uh, Celestian V30 file that's now loaded in. Okay, so let's see what that sounds like. The rev's still on. Here we go. Because I set it to initialize, the EQ has been removed as well. In fact, I could just turn that off so 100% not activated. Again, I can change the attack and I can start to vary the reverb if I bring down the initial level in. Bring in the characteristics of the room. I don't like that. So we'll take that down. It was a freebie. Um, I think it's a great freebie. It's not personally my kind of tone that I'm looking for, but it shows you that you can load IRs from other parties that you might have running around. You might even make your own, etc. You can even load IRs, which are synthesized IRs, which make your files respond slightly differently. Uh, there are a little bit more options in your envelopes, etc. But for your sampled IRs, like we're using here, absolutely perfect to do it. All right, so there you go. That is how you can use Space Designer as a speaker simulator. Uh, I hope you found that useful. If you haven't checked out uh, video one and two, where we look at it as a reverb, where we look at it as an EQ, um, then please go do so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and write a comment in the comments section below. It'd be great to hear from you. We have a load more tips and tics, trips guides or tips and tricks guides on our YouTube channel and Logic Tutorials, so please check those out. I'm Mark, Safrock Studios. See you later.